Okie dokie, let's do it. The Plan B After Show podcast, web exclusive. 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 Oh, it's this mic. Yeah, you know, I got two mics here. There, there you we go. go. Idiot. You stupid idiot. Uh, all right, got another life hack for you. How about this? If you're about to get hit by a car and can't. Sorry. Are you. I had to adjust. Just like my nuts in summertime. I have to adjust them once in a while. And they make, they make the same noise, too. <laughs> hey, you're not wrong. Uh, if you're about to get hit by a car and can't jump sideways, jump up. It'll give you a better chance of surviving. Mm-hmm. You get a lot of air just... too. You be like double gainers, jump up, yeah. boom, catch a Dude. catch an ankle. Like I'm gonna think that. Like, hey, you know I what see... though? I think you naturally do it. I've seen a lot of videos of people doing it. Just naturally jump up. Yeah, I think you. I think your fight or flight is like. If you see it and you have the reaction time, much like when you catch up something out of the fridge when you open it and it falls and you just catch it and yeah. then you think about it and you're like whoa like i so didn't think even, just it just happened naturally we we think to jump up i think that's i think that's what happened way. god i've seen some video of people trying to get out of the way and it does not work out it does not it work does out not work out hey our buddy no. sam did that jumped out of the way car. car no so he was attending somebody on the road who was badly injured after they fell off like a motorcycle and a car came and he didn't see the car coming and he he dove backwards and did like a back roll and i'm telling you like like a movie i wasn't there my brother was this is how the story goes but he's oh like, you've told me this story that's a horrifying a story, horrifying story. i won't Jesus. tell the full story but man he he nearly i mean but why does I mean, that always happen to Sam? Sam's always in those situations. He's in, he's, he's just like he's in situations a lot. You know? <laughs> he's always in the in the general area of something. Something like just yeah. It sounds awful. And like, would you rather be hit by like like a Corolla that's got like a more you know like a slanted mm. hood or like a square body truck? Like I feel like mm. the Corolla at least you roll over it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to be you don't like, over. A, like a. a a Volkswagen van coming at you. you know? No, no, you don't want like a big flat body. Like, but like a Volkswagen Beetle, you probably roll out that thing pretty yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah. You know, you've seen the videos of people like the uh, like TikTok videos or whatever. A guy coming in a Lamborghini and then the guy just jumps in the air and it goes underneath him, jumps over him. I don't know if I believe those. You've seen the ones that don't work out. <sighs> Whew. I mean, most of them, right? You try to jump over a vehicle, just Even- barely, you just barely catch a toe. Yeah, that's going, all you need. You're going like this. Yeah, you're flipping in the air, <sighs> landing on your neck, and you're dead. All right. You know what? It, it never looks good because when you when you're flipping like that, your arms mm-hmm. and feet go out. Well, you, you, know, you you're lose not all control. In. No, <sighs> oh, you lose. you're ragdolling is what you're doing, you man. Know? You're ragdolling through the air. Like, <sighs> remember as a kid when okay. you threw an action figure doll and just kind of flop. That's what it was like. That's what it's like, exactly. But it's your body. It's your actual human body. <laughs> it hurts. Okay, so now here's a question to add on this. What about if you're getting charged by a bull? Should you jump up? First off, I'm never going to be in a situation where I'm being charged by a bull. I will avoid that situation at all costs. But for at some reason, time, yeah. if I wake up and, ha, ah! yep. bull is pissed and coming at me. Oh, man. If you do it with a car, you think you should do it for a bull, right? No, because the ball goes up. He so if you up. jump up and then he gets a little, I mean, how high do you want to go? 35, 55, God. 60 feet in the air. After, after this, after this podcast, I'm just going to go watch bulls hitting people videos. Oh, Cause they're man. the best. Don't be careful. Everyone deserves it. Everyone deserves it. No, everyone deserves it. I All think right? you roll to the side with the bull. You try to you do think you roll to the side. Yeah. yeah. There's so this one bull way. video where they had, it was up on, on a stage where there was like uh, people running running away from the bull, you know, up, up on a, like yeah. a lifted stage. The bull grabs a guy, flips him up, turns him upside down, catches him again with his horn, and s- slams him on his neck. Good. Kills the guy instantly. I mean, but you're it's just, just like the pop. He ragged out that guy like it, like like me picking yeah. up this this like this pen, dude. It's, wait, wait. They're, they're monsters like i just don't get why people and then people are surprised and then everyone's mad at the bull and it's like no no you guys got in there knowing what these things can do this is a wild animal no one should be mad at the bull no one speaking of sam we were just talking yeah. about sam 
He told me. Don't tell me he got hit by. No, he went to Mexico. <coughs> they went. <coughs> Damn, sorry. They went to. <coughs> the hell, Mexico. Yeah. And they went to one of those bull fight things. Yeah. So it was brutal. Couldn't stand it. Yeah. It's like they just. It's just. He says it's just a well, weird thing, man. Like a weird custom, people, and they just torture this thing, man. It's just. Well, that's what people don't realize. Everyone thinks it's just them and the matador. No, the matador is the last one to get in there yeah. after the bulls already been. That's scabbed, what he was saying. The worst part was is it, yeah. it's a. And before that, I think they like no, they like rub Vaseline in its eyes. So oh really? Can't really? Yeah, that's a thing. It's just like, man, well, come on. That's why I never, I grew up on a farm and we learned to, re- you don't get in the bullpen. All right. Yeah. And if, if you're ever in that same with the running and the bulls, like I don't feel bad for a single person. There. I'm like, good idiot. Good. You stupid idiot. Get tossed. Yeah. Get tossed, bro. All yeah. right. You're getting tossed. Ah. Yeah. Anyway. Well, good. There you go. So now, you know, if a car's, if a car and or a bull is <laughs> bearing down on you, eh, Try and frogger that thing. You're probably going to die. Yeah, yeah. But, hey, might increase your odds a little bit. So. You're going to see the All sky right. ground, sky ground, sky ground. Bam! That guy did like 30 flips. That was insane. <laughs> Landed right on his neck. Anyway. All right. There you go. That is your Plan B After Show podcast. Web exclusive. We'll see you next time.